gosh. I'm so sorry, class, that I was late. Professor Sean here, and for my birthday, September 20, we will start a series on the overview of the brain. We'll cover AI to anatomy and everything in between the A to the Z of the human brain. But first, let's start with the simples. Here are my trusty, dusty brain cards and Let's start with taking about what the brain is. So the brain is an organ inside of your head for my, fel for my tiny fellows out there. And it's protected by your skull. Your skull is a bony thing shaped like your head. It has teeth and it has a few main parts. It has the mandibles, which is here. But the, per the part we will really be caring about is the cranium, because that's where your hard, your hard bony shell is protecting your soft, squishy brain. So let's get to anatomy and parts of the brain. Ta-da! So let me just flip it over. So, <laughs> Let's start with this part without all of the other inside stuff. You got four lobes, your frontal, your temporal, your parietal, and your occipital. And this other own part called the cerebellum. The frontal lobe, which is right here, would be where you have your motor cortex, which is in control over moving your body. Let me give you a challenge. Wave your hand and shake your leg. That's your motor cortex at work, baby. Ta-da! So the frontal lobe also helps with reasoning and thinking. Think about the number two. Bam, your frontal lobe's in use. Woo! Okay, now let's go to the parietal lobe, which would be right around here. And it has the somatosensory cortex, which is how, which is a nerdy way to say your feeling cortex. I, I'm not talking about the sadness. I'm talking about when you, when you touch something, like put something on your skin. You felt that, right? That's your somatosensory cortex at work, baby. Now, it's also has the Wernicke's area. The Wernicke's area is for language. Like, you know how you can enunciate your words, which is a nerdy way of saying, you know how you can talk right? <laughs> so that's your Wernicke's area, baby. People with damage to the Wernicke's area often speak in full sentences and even make up words like, I hydroxyflied the hink of Luntunku. So, Let's go to the temporal lobe. Ta-da! So the temporal lobe has the auditory cortex, which is the hearing cortex. You know how you can hear me? Hey, can you hear this? If you can't, you're deaf. But if you can, that's your auditory cortex at work, baby. Yep. And now let's go to the occipital lobe, the last one that ends in lobe. <laughs> the occipital lobe would be right around here, and it has like half of the visual cortex. So the visual cortex is its main function, which is seeing. So what color, so put in the comments below what color each of the section of the brain is on the here. Now, let's get to this other one. Now, I'll be talking about only the main areas for this one. And since we've already talked about all of the ones over here, we can skip those and go to the middle, which is where it's at. So, the thalamus, combined with the cerebellum, helps with balance. So, that's the thalamus for you. Now, let's go to the amygdala. The amygdala is for feelings. Like, see, if you feel an emotion, that, that, 
that isn't really good. <laughs> That's your amygdala. <laughs> and anyway, here's a quiz for your amygdala. What feeling is this? What feeling is this? What feeling is this? <laughs> and what feeling is this? In the comments below, make sure to do that to test your amygdala. Now, let's go to the hippocampus. Now, to explain this, I have a story for you. The, there once was a man who had damage to his hippocampus and when his wife used to go to work and then when his wife come back, the man hugged his wife like he hadn't seen her in so long and had forgotten her face. Now, this isn't just because he was a loyal husband. That was because his, hypo, his hippocampus was damaged. His hippocampus was damaged, meaning he couldn't remember his wife's facial features, causing him to act like he had finally seen her after traveling through the seven seas. <laughs> so, yep. Now let's go to, dun, 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 last but not least, the brainstem. But before we go to the brainstem, shout out to pituitary gland, releasing hormones since releasing hormones since forty five thousand BC. So yeah, the pituitary gland is a gland in the brain that releases growth hormones, melatonin, testosterone, and last but not least, dopamine and serotonin. Now these are all hormones which carry messages. Some of these are like dopamine and serotonin are neurotransmitters, meaning they go only in the brain to make you feel stuff. Like dopamine and serotonin should be yours, meaning I want you to be happy. So, the pituitary gland is a hormone releaser, and it's small but mighty. It's about the size of a bean. So, now, back to our brainstem after our, <laughs> after our shout out to the pituitary gland. So, the brainstem consists of the pons, which is at the top, and the medulla, which is at the bottom. And these two glands help with Essential functions like your heart beating, you breathing, and digestion. So that was an overview of the brain. And here I've got a 3D model which has many different cross-sectional views that are all put together to make this 3D model that can stand. So that was an overview of the brain. And a few fun facts about the brain is, did you know that the left side of the brain controls the right side of the body and the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body, meaning that your brain is switched up. Now you know. Did you know that police, off police officers, when, when looking for alcoholic drivers, drivers often tell them to do simple functions like like walking in a straight line, bouncing on one leg, or touching their, touching their nose while their eyes are closed. This is because alcohol, this is because alcohol impairs the function of the brain, brain including motor cortex, the cerebellum, and much more, causing these functions to be really hard. And when they can't do it, the police officers can suspect if they have alcohol. Now you know. Okay, anyway, bye class, and your homework is to keep on sciencing. <laughs>